$3,500 gold? How does that sound to you? Yes, $3,500 gold. Is it possible? We're all waiting for the Fed to pivot, right? We know the underlying conditions that are going on in the financial system and the economy, and we're waiting for the Fed to pivot. And we think then gold will take off. But is there another option, a atomic bomb type option that could easily occur, that could easily catapult gold to $3,500 or possibly even higher? We're going to cover that in this video. I want to hear what you think about the idea that gold could go above $3,500. Also, I need to apologize to you. I'm going to do that as well. Let's get started right now. You probably want to hear about how gold and silver can skyrocket, and we are definitely going to talk about that because there's a big, big event that can occur that could make that happen very quickly. First, I want to say I was wrong. I need to apologize to you. Yeah, I'm, I'm wrong. Don't have a crystal ball. I had predicted in several videos, which are still posted on YouTube, that I was 100% sure, 101% sure, that Jerome Powell would get fired from the head job at the Federal Reserve. Because we know inflation, right? I mean, you, you're feeling inflation. You're probably like me, somewhere in the middle in the world, whether in the United States of America, Germany, South America, Asia, Australia, wherever you are, prices are through the roof. Go to the gas station, try to go to the doctor, try to buy some housing, try to buy some food. It is darn right difficult. People are even, if you heard this, people are even taking like two and three jobs and donating their plasma. I never understood that, the whole plasma donation thing, but donating their plasma just to put food on the table. So I was sure that the leaders in Washington, the Democrats, would blame this all on Powell and fire him. They didn't fire him, but it's very interesting what's happening right now, and this directly relates to the price of the precious metals. And there's this atomic bomb option that could just blow the price through the roof. Because have you heard? The politicians are turning on our old friend Jeremy Powell at the Federal Reserve. Let me just read through a list of politicians who have publicly either put out press releases on Twitter, made public statements, sent letters saying that they're fed up with this hawkish, aggressive monetary policy at the Federal Reserve. This doesn't even mention all the other political leaders around the world who are fed up with the Federal Reserve. And remember, guys, when the Fed either pivots or if there's some big change at the Fed, that's big, big news. That means easy money dovish policy coming through, and that means gold and silver take off. Let me just read you these names of people who have recently gone public with their distaste for Jerome Powell. We have Hakeem Jeffries. He's a rep, House of Representatives guy from New York. Elizabeth Warren, <clears throat> of course. Uh, the Senate Banking Committee Chair, Sherrod Brown. <clears throat> Maxine Waters, and of course, our old friend Bernie Sanders. All of them have come out with explicit statements against Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve. But what does this mean? This is where it gets super interesting for gold and silver. If you're the type of person who likes to talk about $3,500 gold, if you like to dig a little deeper, see the forest through the trees, you're always welcome to join me. It's me and you. Right now, we are part of a bigger group, but right now, it's me and you. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe. Find the little ring -a ling a ling bell. Press that. That way, you'll get notified every time I put out a new video. Leave a comment, please, in the comment section below. Your thoughts matter. We want to hear from you. We want to learn from you. We want to get to know you. We want to get back to the video right now. Have you noticed that even the mere mention of a pivot or a mere mention or idea that the aggressive monetary policy is starting to slow down, the, the pendulum's just stopping swinging towards aggressive, that that sends the price of gold and silver higher. Think about this. Put on our thinking caps, right? Let's analyze. See the forest through the trees. What if they were to actually get rid of Jerome Powell? What if he actually was removed from his position? That would be the atomic bomb 
for silver and gold. I think 3,500 may be a rather conservative estimate for gold, and we could easily see silver, $60, $70, maybe even that Keith Newmeyer predicted $100 per ounce for our friend silver. And do you find it interesting that while we have these Democratic leaders sending letters to the Federal Reserve saying everything is horrible, you're destroying the economy, you're destroying the middle class, at the same time we have our Democratic President Joseph Biden claiming he's pulling off an economic miracle and the economy's strong and Janet Yellen, she's also yelling about how great everything is. And Powell, well, he's kind of in the middle, but isn't it just ironic that one group of them says things are really, really horrible, you're destroying the economy, but then we've got Joe at the top saying, hey, everything's great, we're doing just fine. I find that a little ironic. And this is not a political channel, but I also find it rather hypocritical that when Trump was president, he was giving Powell some heat about needing to lower interest rates, and he was attacked for that. He was said that was bad and the Fed needs to be independent. But now, suddenly, that there's a Democratic president, it's okay. The hypocrisy on both sides can be a little numbing at time. Nonetheless, if Powell is removed as the chairman of the Federal Reserve, that is big, big, big news. We're all thinking pivot. That would be like the bomb going off and gold and silver would skyrocket. One thing for sure, I'll be here for you through it all, through the ups, through the downs. If you enjoy my content, again, please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section below because your comments matter. Have a great day.